Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to explain what happens when you create a group in Outlook, how you can add people, how you can delete the group, and what else you can do with the group. So on the screen, I have Outlook Online open, and you can see uh, that I'm on the email section at the top there. I've come down to the bottom where it's got groups, I don't have any groups at the moment, but I'm going to create a new group. And then this window opens, asks me for a name. I type the name and then it gives me the email, which is nice and easy to remember. And then you can put a description in there for your team or whoever you're going to invite to this. Click on create. It's on private at the minute. And then you can invite people. So I'll just invite a couple of people. One more, Tanya. So add those three people, they're all members. You can change that option to owner if you want somebody else to be an owner. That means they would be able to delete the group as well as yourself or if something happened to you, you left the company, they would still be able to do and manage things. But I'll just leave it as it is. I'll click add. Now that creates the group, so that group now sits down here. And if I click on it, I will have a welcome email, which is just this one, welcome to the care group. Now what you've got, it tells you what you can do there. You can do a conversation, um, you can um, have a team site, you can connect to different apps, etc., etc., and share files. But at the top there, you've got the group symbol, care, send email, and then a few op other options, and then these three ellipses. Now in there, you've got a group notebook, which I'll just click on. So that'll open up OneNote. And it says there, Care Notebook. Care Notebook, which is empty. This basically, you create a section. So I'll just call this um, Care Plan. That'll be the section. And then within the A section, you can have pages. So I'll just type Jan Care plans for example and then you can add another page and that would be feb care plans for example and then if i add one another section um staff review for example and the same process applies you just build up this is like an online file of facts but it's just for the group that you've created if i close that down the other thing you've got on the ellipses is planner same sort of thing this is for the group a group planner and then you've got the options to do you create buckets and they can look at these different buckets so i'll click on a new bucket and i'll i'll talk about induction and then you can click away add a new bucket um, admin add a new bucket finance for example type it right and you can change this to do and then you basically click on click on add a task um, so this is to do add new staff you can set a due date of today assign it to the people that's in the group so Ashley and Alana can do that one and then you click add task and you build that up and if you need to move this across into a different thing you can just drag and push it across like so You've got different views, you've got charts, there's only one task, you've got a schedule, which will show you that, and you've got grid, which lists it like a table. Board was the option we was in to start with, but this is all for the group. And I'll close that down. Back to the ellipses, you've got a site. Click on site, it'll, it'll create a SharePoint site, and you've got browse templates, maybe later, and it just creates a site. This is a SharePoint site for your group and again you've got another notebook there and site contents tells you what sort of things are already preset these are all the defaults but these come every time you create a group and if i close that down click on the ellipses there you've got settings if i go into settings you've got these options that you can tick on or off and then these and if you want to delete the group which i'm not going to do just yet but you go in here edit group and that gives you an option there to delete this group I'll just discard this for a minute. 
So I'm back to this screen. Now down the left hand side, you can see the group. You've got discover groups and manage groups. So if I click on manage groups, that will just show me the group, the one group I'm in. And you can see that there's no more groups there, but I am the owner and I, I'm not a member of any of the groups, but I'm the owner of this one. If I click on deleted groups, these are the groups that I've deleted. This is the one that I'm in. Further down there, you've got all groups and you can see the groups that the company has. These are ones that have not been set up by me. This is the one I've just set up, but these are the other groups that are set up by admin. Now, if I come back off this screen, let's just have a quick look at some of these options. So you've got start a conversation. This is to your group. So basically it's a shortcut, if you like, to an email where you want to just send a message to somebody like so. Don't want to do that, so I'll discard that. You've also got the option to share files. If I click on that, you can upload files. It's basically opening up um, your files and you can see them. They'll come in there. That's what's been opened and you've got the option to upload other files. So that's a recent one I've just done. There it is four minutes ago. And you've got all these features there that are familiar to a SharePoint site. If I come back off this, you've actually got connect to, connect to apps. This is like Twitter and Trello and things like that. You can connect. I haven't got any of those set up, so I'm not going to click on it. This is the SharePoint site that I showed you before from the ellipses. You're just coming into this same place where you've got site contents and you can see what you've got there and you can upload stuff into the documents library and things like that there it is look that's charting from what i showed you under the screen it was just a preview of this if i close that off so that's similar to the ellipses you can do you go through there or you can go through this link to get onto that now again to delete this i'll delete that message to delete the actual group what you need to be in is in the group and then you need to go into settings on the ellipses there. So settings, and then like I said, edit group. This comes in and then delete group. And then it tells you what will happen if you delete the group. All of this stuff that you've done will be lost. I do want to delete this group and then that's it. Okay. So that's basically how to create a group in Outlook and how that pans across your other elements of Office 365 and how you can navigate through them, how you can allocate people to that group and work together and collaborate on files or just chat, whatever you want to do. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.